Hello, good evening. Uh, this is Ruth Patola from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you a very nice trick. Um, you have experienced this if you have tried to open Power BI files on different computers while using Excel or text or CSV files where your path, your source path is hard-coded. So I'm going to show you a very, very neat trick on how to overcome that. So here is an example of a Power BI file that is uh, connected to two Excel files and Power BI does not recognize the path of the file because it's on a different computer. So if you have only one Excel file, it's not a problem. You just go up to source and you change here the file path to the new one and everything is fine. But if you have more than one, let's say that you have two, three, four, four is enough, it just becomes quite, uh, quite much work to every time you go from your, for example, work computer to your home computer going back and forth changing those so here is the trick this is what we're going to do we go to new source blind query and then we go to view and advanced editor and here we're going to write the path so here it is done we change the name by name. Excellent. And now we go to the first Excel file, back to source, and we remove that part and we write file name. And then we concatenate with the rest of the file path. There you go, it's already working. And then you get file two. We do exactly the same. Remove that. And then file name. Concatenate. And there you go. So. We load. And as you see, it loads the files and also the file name. We don't need that. There is no use of that for the connection, so you can disable loading. You will see what happens. You see, it disappears. So now, let's say that you want to open this on your um, work computer. The only thing you need to do is to change to whatever name you have for your work computer. And if the rest of the path file is the same, it will work. So when you go back home, you change to the new one and then all of the connections will work. So try to do this as a habit is very, very useful. So I hope you enjoyed the trick. Um, uh, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know in the comment box below. Thank you. Bye.